Any storm alert is low right now, but that might not be the case later on today just because we do have another round of showers and storms. We're already starting to clear out, so the more sunshine we see this morning, the better off we'll be. That'll help fuel those thunderstorms later. Uh, typically after, you know, an active afternoon and evening like we had yesterday, it'd be a slower day, but it does look like we'll have enough fuel to work with today. And we have an 80% chance for showers and storms here in Tucson. That means only about 20% of us aren't going to see anything. So most of Metro Tucson should get in on some action. The mountain 62 with a 90% chance, 70% chance for Santa Cruz County and about a 80% chance in Cochise County. Temperatures also much cooler than average in the 80s and low to mid 90s. Now most of us here in southeastern Arizona are on the dry side. We're losing the cloud cover, but again, the more sunshine we see, the better. Still a few showers and thunderstorms working through um, northwestern portions of Arizona, so it might be a slower day up there. But again, we are expecting another active afternoon and evening here in southern Arizona. So here is a look at the excessive rain outlook for today. Anywhere where you see yellow, that is where we have a chance for some scattered flooding and flash flooding. Uh, excessive rain looking a little more likely for those areas highlighted in yellow. Definitely a little bit less so the farther west that you live and even the farther east that you live. So that does include Tucson, areas to the north, south, and some spots to the east. And that is why we have a flood watch going into effect from 11 a.m. today all the way until 5 a.m. tomorrow. That includes Metro Tucson, areas to the west, including places like Three Points, Tubac, Nogales, Rio Rico, um, all the way up towards uh, Kearney, Mammoth, and Oracle in Pinal County. Also, all of Graham, Greenlee, and Cochise County are included in that as well. So we could see some flooding and flash flooding in those areas highlighted in green. So, of course, heavy rainfall, definitely going to be a big impact, but also we have a chance for some isolated strong to severe storms, especially for the areas highlighted in dark green. This is where it's pretty much fair game. It's not going to be super widespread the severe storm activity, but we could see again some isolated strong to severe storms like we did yesterday. So for the big storm threats today and tonight, hail threat is moderate. Same thing for damaging wind and blowing dust. So yes, we could see some blowing dust this afternoon, but definitely flooding and flash flooding will be the highest threat. So please stay storm alert and make sure you always turn around. Don't drown for your future cast. Storms will begin to develop around 1 p.m., especially from Tucson to the east. Those storms will make their way northeastward and by 4 p.m. Very active from Tucson to the north and to the east. Looks like we'll still be dealing with some storms around 8 p.m. tonight, kind of around uh, Cochise County up towards the White Mountains and even here in Tucson. And then we'll dry out as we work our way into early tomorrow morning. Maybe just a few lingering showers north of Tucson. Half inch or less for the areas highlighted in green. We have a lot of blue on the board, though, so about a half inch to an inch and a half will be possible. And places like the Rincons, maybe a little bit more than that, inch and a half to two and a half inches. Now, this could be our last hoorah for the monsoon 2022, so enjoy what we do see. We could see some scattered storms tomorrow as well, but today definitely the most active day of the week. We dry out, heat up as we work our way towards this upcoming weekend, so enjoy the cooler temperatures. And